Dang wolves. Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Really? Are you kidding me? You can't out-dodge an explosion. That's dumb. Anyway, so, we're, uh, oh, that was a loud sound, sorry. We're, uh, we're back here again. Trying to think of other cool things I normally say right about now, but I'm slightly distracted. Oh, there we go. And we're about to go up here and try to get our, our piece of mirror, because that's what we're here for, right? We came here to get this piece of mirror that was located up here, and I, I darn well want to go through with it. Uh, this is bedroom. You unlock it. Uh, yeah, that's what the key's for. Is there something up with that? Okay. Well, certainly. I, I guess we'll go. Thank you. You come inside. You have a very odd door for, like, your bedroom door. Like, your bedroom door goes up. Most people's bedroom doors kind of, like, open, like, inward and outward type thing. They don't exactly have, like, vertical doors. Please. This way, uh. Oh, that looks like it. Yep. <laughs> Very merry, very twilight. Here, mirror, you look at it, uh. Uh, so pretty. Pretty. Uh, so pretty. Uh, pretty? Pretty mirror lovely? Why are you turning dark and twitchy? Are you okay? Ah, ah. Not take me. <laughs> Definitely a a scary portion of the game, maybe. That her face just turns around and she turns like mega evil and stuff. And now has the ability to fly. Yes. Um. Not my best house visit, I'll say. I've had better. Twilight ice mass blitz. Uh. Blitzta? Blitzta. Hello there. Um, you know, we could talk this out. We really could. I don't have to hurt you. You don't have to hurt me. We just have a grand old time together. Ah, uh, doesn't seem like she wants to talk. Okay. Ah, okay. Sword is not the right option. Let's try this. Yes, right option. Right option. kind of hard to miss something that big, I suppose. Maybe that's a good thing. Correct option. Correct option. Oh. Made a bunch of ice thingies. Oh. Oh. Goodness gracious. That's a lot of hearts. Can I have some of those? I actually would enjoy some of those. Oh, uh, you froze the door over to... Ah! Give me some of those hearts. At the very least, you're not skimping out on hearts. Okay, are you okay, ma'am? We can talk this over. We can talk this over, ma'am. Please stop the wiggling and the flying. Mostly the wiggling, that's scarier. And you're like creepy demon purr. That's also a little odd as well. The demon purr. It's not helping. Okay. Ah. Stop chasing me with spire Ah! The ice! It's scary! Okay. Okay, um... I believe... Ah! Ow! Okay, so don't do what I just did. Okay, so don't let the giant ice spires kill you. That's, that's uh, the first good step to remember. Ow. Break the ice spires for health, though. That's a good idea. Oh, crap. I think we're supposed to break the ice spires so we have a way out of the circle. Is the idea we want to break them when they're chasing us like this? Yep, okay, there's another one. Okay, so now they're going to do the circle bit, but we can get out of this because we've got some holes. 
break that. There we go. Okay, okay, we're doing okay. I think she's a little mad that we broke her ice thingy. Yes, yes, she is very mad. Very mad, I apologize dearly. I promise after this is all over, I'll give you a nice cup of soup or something. Local supermarket, get some delicious soup. Ow. Now, I, I couldn't have helped that. I don't feel bad about that. Okay, so we've got a small gap this way. Let's break it again. It's gonna be like a third time's a charm thing going on here. Yeah, I feel like that's what it's gonna be. So we gotta fight her three times and then we win. Okay, got some more ice broken. That'll help us out. This way, go this way. And ice is broken. Did we win? Please stop being demonic, I'm very sorry. Here's our ball and chain also has the power to banish evil just like our sword did. So that that's good. And there's our piece of the Mirror Twilight. Whoa. It's got like this weird bass thing going on. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it had like this really weird bass sound going on there. It's like, dum bum 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 Well, we have two Mirror Shards now. Two more left, Mr. 250. Yeah, I, I know. Still, I feel bad about the way we treated that girl. Well, it was her or us, kind of, so I'm not feeling too bad. To think the Mirror of Twilight has the power to change people like that. This world, all worlds can be cruel. Let's hurry and collect the rest of those pieces, Mr. 250. We don't want anyone else to get hurt. Yep, just like that. No more innocent creatures have to endure the suffering this poor girl did. Well, let's go search for the two that remain. What about a heart piece? I really want some health. Please? Oh crap, is he gonna like be mad at me because I hurt her? I'm sorry, no please! Ah, oh, not the face! Not the face! Uh, uh, what, what wrong with me? Very strange. You just dreaming, uh? Yeto, mirror you gave. Forget Mir Yetta. No, look into eyes of Yetto. Look in reflection of Yetto's eyes. They're true beauty. Aww, they're so cute. Who needs Mir? My lover. Uh. That's that's <laughs> that's funny. Oh, hello there. Could you guys hug more often? I'd love some more heart containers. Wow. Look at this, like a flurry of hearts on the ground. Ooh. Have you ever seen that many hearts before? And you got a heart container. Your life energy has been cre increased by one and has been fully replenished. 11 hearts. That's a good place. That's a definitely a good place. So, now that we've gotten all we wanted to out of here, let's exit. I'll get you out of here. You sure there's nothing else you need to do, right? Please, I'm tired of the cold snow. Let's go. I'm tired of the cold snow. I've, I've had enough snow. I like snow a lot. I really do. But... Maybe not this much snow. Might be a bit much. And save complete. Aw oh, crap, we're still in the snow area. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, let's teleport out of here then. Um, where's the next place we needed to go? Would you mind telling us, Midna? One should be hidden in the ancient wood, and another somewhere in the sky. The only place I can think of woods... Thank you. 
would be down in the Faron province. In the Faron woods. Let's uh, let's make another trip over there. I think that's where it is, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. Let's see. Oh, also, I need to go down here at some point. Um, and I've got a bunch of money. Well, not, not a ton of money, but I've got enough that I want to uh, make a quick, quick trip over to Kakariko Village. And, oh, we've actually got to go... Yeah, okay, so we've got to go there anyway. So let's go here, deposit all our money, and go see that wolf guy. That teaches me how to do cool sword thingies. Okay, uh, transform into human, because both of these things need that. Hello there, I'm not a wolf or anything. Take that, you dang sign. You get destroyed. Destruction of property. Okay, hello there. You're sure 400 rupees short? I can't get you quite there, but I can get you pretty darn close. 136, that's not a lot of rupees, honestly. Okay, and now we need to make a trip to the graveyard because there's a wolf guy over here and he's gonna teach me cool tricks and tips. It's kinda like a... what is it? Like whenever you used to buy... I don't know if you guys ever did, I used to to buy those old cheat books whenever games used to have cheat codes and stuff in them a lot more, or they'd have hidden things, and the internet wasn't as big of a thing back then, you would pick up one of those little cheat books. Oh, it's someone I already picked up, I think. You'd pick up one of those cheat books, and they'd have cheats for, like, thousands and thousands of games. I remember I used to, I think I had, like, three of them or something. I didn't have tons of them, but I had some of them. Like, I think in Mega Man Battle Network 3, there were some little things you could do to help you, uh, to help you with your nabby thing or something. We meet again. This next is the greatest of the hidden skills I have taught you to this point, and it may test the limits of your endurance. Do you still wish to master it? I do not. I am unworthy. But we need these skills to complete our destiny or whatever, so I do very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the backslice. Now then, come at me, bro. Okay, come on. That one's a pretty easy one. It is useful, though. I like that one. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My fourth hidden skill is... The Helm Splitter. Let it be hewn into your mind. I suppose it will be. Hidden skill, Helm Splitter. Seems useful, right? It is impossible to circle around and perform a backslice against fully armored enemies that move swiftly in combat. Against such foes, you must first use a shield attack to make them flinch, but then quickly press A. You will leap into the air over the enemy's head and greet them with your blade by immediately striking them from behind. Wow. Bit of a move right there, don't you think? This is the Helm Splitter. Show it to me! Like, I can just pull this out of my hat, like, right now and do this. So, shield attack. Ooh. And then, you know, we can strike him in the back. It, it kind of leaves him vulnerable. And it's a neat move, but we, I doubt we'll use it much. Hmm. Impressive. Do not miss your chance to land a Helm Splitter with A after your shield attack. The fourth hidden skill, skill, the helm splitter has been passed on. You learn the fourth hidden skill, the helm splitter. Stun foes with a shield attack, then press A to chop them from above. There are still three hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the time you come to learn the next skill. May we meet again. Excellent. So we got some good work done today. And now, uh, let's warp back to the Faron Woods. Actually, now that I think about it, I think there's something we can do back in, uh, back in our hometown. 
So let's go take a trip there. I mean, we've got time, right? Not doing anything. At least if we were, we're not now. <laughs> and transform back into human to avoid scaring the locals. Okay, so um, what I'm thinking is, I believe there's a dig spot in the Ordon Ranch. Maybe. I'm not sure on that one, but we'll look and find out. Okay. Hello, everyone. Actually, there's no one here. That's interesting. I wonder if I could get that rupee now. You guys remember that, right? The rupee that plagued me at the beginning of the game. And that, for the life of me, I couldn't figure out how to get it. I feel like maybe with our equipment, we could get it now. Uh, ladder, ladder, here we go. I know it's almost beyond useless now. The rupees, especially because they're in such small denominations, but still. I want to get it. I want to be able to say that I've gotten it. Okay. So it's just that one right there. The Gale Boomerang seems to have a pretty long range is what I found out. And... We've got a yellow rupee. Excellent. Good work. Risking life and limb for the sake of rupees. Uh, let's see. Back to Ball and Chain, though I doubt we'll use it much. Okay, so back to the Ordon Ranch. I think there's multiple things I can do back here. We're going to figure them out. At least I think there's multiple things. I think if we get a good time, he'll give us like a heart piece or something. Mr. 250, I heard. Sounds like everyone over in Kakariko. What? Oh, everyone's over in Kakariko. And everyone in town who'd been all down in the mouth, they're all finally starting to feel their oats again. And it's all because of you, bud. Thanks a ton. Oh, is that where everyone is? Okay, well, I think we can do something if we manage to use Jiggy and hurt all the goats in. Hello there. <laughs> Push goat aside. Goat does not matter. Hey there, guy. Well, hey there, Mr. 250. Broad Jiggy, huh? Well, how about it? Want to round them goats up for a first time in a dog's age? I bet these scamps are sure happy to see you. <laughs> sure thing. Then I'll leave it to you today. Alright, let's see how we can do. Whoop. Whoop. At the very least now my controller's not going to come disconnected when I whoop at them, like he did that first time. Whoop. 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 Hey! Oh no, come on, not you. You're the one that's gonna ruin my time. Hey! Come on, get away from the wall and go in the normal direction. Hey! 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 Okay, let's give this guy some distance. Yes, he's gonna turn. Hey! 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 It's that one goat. It's that one goat. This guy might give me some trouble too. So I can turn him quickly. Hey yeah. Oh come on. I'm doing so good, and then these goats are like, lol no. Nope. Wonder if I could shoot him with an arrow. Get a move on you, dang goat! Okay, okay. As long as you're coming this way. Come on, let's go. Come on, go in, go in, go in. Is that really a technique? <laughs> That's so dumb. A gift? Ooh, heart piece. Okay, we still got what we wanted. Even if we did kind of go slow. Okay, so apparently shooting the goats with arrows is a perfectly good way of getting them to do what you want. It's like, hey goats, get in there. Shoot with arrow. Okay, hello there, postman. We can just let the goats eat a messy looking letter like this. Now, will he see me if I'm behind him like this and I transform? Ah, oh, fine. I think there's a dig spot in here, if I'm not mistaken. 
Hopefully I'm far enough away from that other guy. Yes, I am. Okay. Yep, dig spot right here. It's one of these uh, dig spots I can actually go all the way down in. Oh, hey, get out of here, you dang rats. There are a lot of pots in here. Oh, I think that thing's special. Hold on. That thing's supposed to be special. We've, we've got we've to gotta grab that. Hold on. Um, let's eat this superb soup. Let's get it out of our inventory. We need an empty bottle. Okay, so we're going to kill it. You notice how he's sparkly, by the way. That's the most important bit. Is that he's sparkly. Let's scoop him up. Aha! We got it. You put rare tube jelly in your bottle. Set it to B and drink it to replenish all hearts and briefly boost attack strength. So that's a very, very good one. We need more bottles, really. Oh, we have lots of rupees, though. Break all the pots. I'm so glad these people set up the, all of their expensive pottery in this underground hole, thinking that no one would find it. Just cutting some grass, don't worry. It looks like there's a lot of stuff in this place, actually. Not only are there expensive rupees, but... Also, just tons of good stuff, anyway. Cut all the grass. Break all the pots. Probably have to light that lantern, too, I imagine. Look at that, we've almost got enough to finish up the, uh, the bridge or whatever that they, uh, they wanted in, uh that one place that I can't remember the name of, so help me. It's like 140 or something, we're almost there. And small rupees and everything. Okay, but obviously what looks like might be the biggest treasure here. Let's light these. And what do we have? Oh. Are we missing another? Oh, okay, another one. Okay, there we go. We have... Something! What do we have? Oh, now open chest. We have... A purple rupee. There we go. Lots of money. Let's, uh... Switch that back to something like a bow. We need more arrows and bombs, I feel. We have to buy them, though. Of course, when you actually need them for anything, they give them to you. Whoa. That was weird. All the sheep sort of, like, jumped when I came in. Okay, uh, let's see. We still got a bit of time, so let's work with this. Let's, uh, warp. We need to go to, not the Lanru province, Faron province. And the Farron Woods. I'm pretty sure this is where we need to go anyway. I always liked the music here so much. It's my favorite. Actually, I think I was telling Bert this the other day. Yeah, he had it playing on a stream. And I told him, like, this was my favorite one. Uh, anyway, oh... Hello there. Uh, let's do this a little discreetly. Hello there. You probably want to talk to me. It has been a while since we took walks in the forest, huh? Yes, and how our world has changed. Well, it certainly has. There's evilness and stuff going on. Also, that is a nice sweeping shot right there. I knew you would come. I've heard of your brave axe from Telma. I've known her circle of friends since my youth, and as of late we have begun to work towards a common goal. So let me tell you a story, all about how my life got flipped turned upside down. Uh, do you know about the far side of this deep gorge? Some say there is an ancient temple deep in the woods that guards a sacred power. The ancestors of the Hylians created the temple. Signs of their civilization, ancient but very sophisticated, are everywhere. If someone could obtain the power of those ancient people, 
Well, I'm sure it would go a long way towards saving Hyrule. Mr. 250, would you take on this task? Would you cross the gorge and find the ancient power sleeping in the temple? Well, I was kind of heading in that way, so sure. I think that sounds like a fine idea. <laughs> I knew you would. To cross the gorge, just use my partner here. What? Is it a monkey? Oh no, a golden chicken? <laughs> Do you doubt my partner's skills? He flies like a dream, believe me. Well, you will definitely make it across the gorge. Wait and see, my doubting friend. So I'm basically trusting my life to a single point of failure of this dang chicken. Okay. <laughs> Very good, chicken. Come on down. Don't make me use the sword. So my entire life is currently being tested on a single failure point of a chicken. That's great. Ah! I guess for that tree branch right there? Yeah. This isn't the shadiest path I've ever taken. I had to jump this before. I could jump it if he wasn't here. I... Uh, I don't think I can make that without turning it. Let's turn it. Oh, I gotta grab on the ledge. Okay, let's go. I don't think your faithful partner really does anything. He just He's a regular chicken that just happens to be shiny. And you can call him, like, with a bird whistle or something. Ow. I really don't see why we couldn't jump with Midna. Is that an issue? Why can't we do that? But whatever, if the game gives you chickens, use them to fly across gorges. Come on, chicken, you're coming with me. You have very sparkly feathers. Okay, oh, chicken's gone, and we're back in the sacred grove. I think this will be a good spot for us to stop today, so I hope you guys enjoyed our lovely snowy expedition, and uh, get ready for our next adventure in the ancient forest. It'll be a lot of fun, don't worry. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>